Hello everybody, you're going to be working on your Web 2.0 project soon or you may already be working on it and I'm going to give you a little tip here if you want to create a video that's more than maybe just a talking head or if you're not really proficient at editing a video with like Movie Maker or Final Cut or with uh, any of those other video editing programs. Here's a freebie that you can find on the web, you're looking at it, it's called screencastomatic.com and it records whatever is on your screen and if you have a microphone on your computer you don't have to have a camera I do but uh, you can use your camera if you want uh, and then it records whatever is on your screen so I'm going to show you how you use it and give you an example of what you might do for your uh, video for your uh, web 2.0 project so first here I am, am at Screencast-O-Matic and if we click on the button you don't have to have an account or anything just go to the website click on start recording and I'll bring up this screen and say are you ready now you'll notice it has this uh, little box that I position and uh, what I'm gonna do because I have two screens I'm gonna move one of these out of the way and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on a PowerPoint so here's a PowerPoint that I created for this class and I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it out just a little bit and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna position this box so it is, in fact I'm going to make it a little smaller, so it will work, let me keep moving it, there we go, I'm going to make it until it fits, there we go, right over my PowerPoint, so I can adjust it, and go over here, and I'm going to adjust it, so all that it will record will be what I've uh, positioned inside this box, okay, so there we are, and once I'm ready to go, I can check. I look down here to make sure I've got some audio. It's looking for my microphone to make sure I've got something there. And I detect whatever that one is. And uh, then uh, the next thing I need to do is uh, click record. And voila, it will start recording. So let's click on record and see what happens. It's going to give me a countdown and go then I start talking and as I can move through my slides I'm gonna go ahead and click through on the slides and it's gonna to go to the next one and so on and so forth so if you wanted to record something you had a couple of slides that you wanted to use that would be great uh, once you're all done then you go ahead and click on done oh by the way we better get to the pizza mmm like pizza okay here we are click on done and uh, now I'm gonna move this uh, PowerPoint out of the way and I'm gonna bring back in my uh, website okay so back on the website here's what we've got it says here's the presentation here's a preview I can go ahead and play it back so I'm gonna play it back a second so you can kinda see what's going on there and go and then I start talking and as I can move through my slides I'm gonna go ahead and click through on the slide super so there you go I'll turn up the volume you can hear that just fine I and you can see if you like it the next one and it goes through it looks good so, huh? so, if you want so it gives me some options over here I can upload to Screencast-O-Matic but you have to have an account for that so you can do that if you want but <clears throat> you don't have to have an account you can upload it straight to YouTube if you have a YouTube account and you want to embed this video in your blog you can do that uh, I'm gonna go with this other option and I'm going to export it as a movie. Again, you choose. If you have a blogger account or a posterous account, this works great because you, once you export it out, you can upload it directly to your blog and your video will be done. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this export movie. That's going to give me some options. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and save it. You'll see here it says QuickTime, Windows Media Player, Flash. I'm going to save it as a QuickTime MP4, although Flash video will probably work just as well. I wouldn't save it as a Windows Media Player AVI file. It's probably your last option. So QuickTime or Flash, I'm going to go with QuickTime. Uh, you can make some notes on it if you want to. It gives you some size. The full size here is 17, 18 by 542. That's pretty big. Uh, you might make it a little bit smaller, but just for the sake of this one, I'm going to leave it full size, but it might overpower your blog. So if I want to rescale that, I might go ahead and, and uh, drop it down to, let's say, uh, 400 pixels. And that's the width. And so it'll rescale that. And uh, let's go ahead and export. And it's going to export it, and it's going to ask me where it wants to save it, right? And I'm going to save it on my desktop. So let me go ahead and save it on my desktop. And I'm going to call this um, video for web 2.0. And I'm going to save that on my desktop. And it doesn't take very long, you'll see. It's very short. So, wow, in less than 10 seconds, it's saved there. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
drop down this out of the way and let's see if I can find it here on my desktop somewhere where'd you go where'd you go ah oh, there it is video for web 2.0 and let's go ahead and, and open it up with QuickTime and see what it looks like not bad so that's a decent size that would probably fit pretty well on a blog and I'm gonna go ahead and play it and see what it sounds like and looks like and go and then I start talking and as I can move through my slides I'm gonna go ahead and looks good you can uh, read great. it and see it and everything so now you have it ready and I won't go through the steps to upload it to your blog that's one of the things that you can figure out posterous is one that I recommend or blogger those two actually let you upload videos WordPress and uh, a lot of the other ones uh, typepad don't let you upload video directly you have to upload it to YouTube and then uh, embed that in your blog anyway that's a good uh, service that you can use called called screencast omatic uh, you can Google it, look it up, don't have to have an account. It works fantastic, works on both PCs and Macs, and that might be a solution for you if you're trying to figure out what can I do to create a video for my website. All right, that'll do it, and good luck with your Web 2.0 project.